Welcome, friends of Japanese Prince. Welcome for the show. I am Dieter, Dieter von Schura. I am the owner of the Ortolino Company. We sell Japanese prints in weekly online auctions and we produce these videos always somehow related to Japanese prints. So what's in the show in this video? Well, first of all, I want to present this triptych that we have in our current auction. I want to sell it, of course, you're sure. I think yeah, it already has a few bits, but a few more counter bits oh, would be nice. And it's worth, yeah, definitely. And uh, I want to talk about the artist, Kyoriga Kobayashi, and uh, about the background, because this is a scene from the Sino-Japanese War from 1894 and 1895. And then I want to talk about this genre of, it's called Japanese war prints, yeah? And at the end, uh, a few words about this specific prince, okay? Let's talk about Kiyohiga Kobayashi, kind of short, short, short biography. He was born in 1847 and he died in 1950. His family had kept a lower military uh, rank, serving for the uh, ruling shogun in, in Edo, the old shogunate. But the shogunate was uh, pretty much at an end uh, in the year 1868, and there was a last battle, the Battle of Ueno. Ueno, today a park in, in Tokyo, and Kiyohiga Kobayashi, as a young man, he fought on the side of the old order of the shogunate, but they were terribly defeated, they lost. Fortunately, Kyohiga Kobayashi, um, he was not wounded, nothing had happened to him, but he was captured and his enemies uh, made a short interrogation with him and then told him, go home. Um, but now the guy had a problem, like many proponents of the old orders, especially the samurai, they had to find a new way how to make a, a living. And Kyohiga Kobayashi, he tried to establish himself as a painter as a printmaker, a photographer, and freelance illustrator. Uh, in 1876, so that was eight years after uh, the end of this Edo period, well, he made his first woodblock print, and in 1894, he established his own art school. By that time, he was already successful as, a, as an artist, and he had studied Western art, especially the French Impressionists. And the French Impressionists, their characteristics are to show the effects, the influence of light and shadow. Hiroshige prints from the 19th century, or Kunisada or Kuniyoshi, you will never, never see any shadows there. They were just two dimensions. And Kyohiga Kobayashi, take a look at his, um, at, at his woodblock prints, often shows shadows. Kyohiga Kobayashi was a kind of a trailblazer for the renovation of Japanese printmaking for the 20th century. And famous by Kyohiga Kobayashi are his night scenes and also the so-called war prints from the Sino-Japanese War of 1894 and 1895, and this is an example, and an especially brilliant example. The Sino-Japanese War began in 1894 and ended in 1895, and it was a land and, and, and sea war fought between Japan and China over the supremacy in Korea, and it ended with an overwhelming victory of the Japanese over China, to the surprise of the world, actually. In the Treaty of Shimonosek of 1895, which was, by the way, mediated by the United States, uh, Japan was confirmed as the overwhelming uh, winner. Uh, now let's talk about these Sino-Japanese war um, prints. They are a genre uh, for collectors of Japanese prints of their own, together with prints from the so-called Russo-Japanese War, which took place in 1904 and 1905. But now let's talk only about the Sino-Japanese 
war prince. Um, this was the last great commercial success for traditional Japanese printmaking. You must know at the end of the 19th century, Japanese traditional printmaking had largely been replaced by photography or by offset lithographs. Um, newspapers, for, for instance, uh, used offset lithographs or photography. And the Sino-Japanese War was supported by a wave of nationalism by all classes of the Japanese um, society. And common people had a lively interest to hear the latest news from the war front. And of course, well, there was no, no, no internet, um, no, no, no direct telephone news. So these war prints were um, an important means to communicate the latest um, news from the war front to the common people and therefore um, they rushed to, 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 to buy them. Um, there was a huge curiosity and most of the prints were published like this one in the form of triptychs, three single uh, sheets together forming um, one design. By the way, um, funny, hardly any of these artists who produced um, war prints had ever been at the front. So these creations, pure fantasy, but many of them from an aesthetic point of view, uh, brilliantly um, made. And Kyohira Kobayashi was definitely uh, the, the best uh, of the artists producing, creating um, war prints from the Sino-Japanese War. And something else, um, yeah, there's a, a proverb, both in the German language and in the English language as well, the early bird catches the, the worm, and therefore it was important to come out with a new design fast. And therefore, often these war prints are made a little bit sloppily. Not so much the war prints by Kyohika Kobayashi, this is quite excellent, by the way, um, under any aspects, especially under aesthetic aspects. Now, um, let's um, go into detail about this one that we have in the current auction. It already has some counterbidding, by the way, and uh, the title uh, is uh, let's skip the Japanese title with my Bavarian Japanese, not very good. The title translated into English, Our Field Artillery Attacks the Enemy Camp at Julian Cheng. Um, yeah, at Julian Cheng dot. And, um, well, there is not more to say. Uh, this design is in the collection of the Museum of Fine Arts in Boston. And, um, if you're interested in this genre and especially into the Sino-Japanese war prints made by Kyohika Kobayashi, we have an article on our website, artelino.com, um, only uh, for these prints by Kyohika Kobayashi. And I want to show you now a few. Well, let's see, where is it? No, that's a portrait of the artist. We already had that. There, we are now at the bottom. Um, you see, they are all brilliantly made. Yeah, the, if you're familiar with this genre, and you will soon recognize that those by Kyohika Kobayashi, this is another artistic class, and this is the one that we have in the current auction, which will end tomorrow, March, um, 14th of 2021 at 8 p.m. our local time, 8 p.m., which um, is six hours ahead of U.S. East Coast. I would be pleased to see you in our auction, and I would be pleased to see you for our next video. And until then, have a good time, and please take care.